All right, in this video, we are uh, here with another condition with respect to the standard equation of the circle. That is, what is the standard equation of the circle? What happens to the standard equation of the circle when the circle touches the x axis? So let's look into that with the help of a diagram. All right, here we are. Uh, this is what happens when the circle touches the x axis. What happens is that, you know, the center is, the, is of the coordinate h, comma k. We have h here, and k is supposed to be this. But k is also equal to the radius of the circle because this is, you know, the moving point. This is one of the moving points. It can be here, here, here. But then the, this is also supposed to be equal to k. So that becomes a. So majorly what happens is k becomes equal to a. That is exactly what happens when the circle touches the x-axis. k and a become equal. So what? So how does this affect the standard equation? We have x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equal to a square. So when k becomes a, we have something like this. x minus h the whole square plus y minus a the whole square. k is replaced by a equals a square. So now what happens when you expand x minus h the whole square? It becomes x square plus h square minus 2hx plus y minus a the whole square is y square plus a square minus 2ay equal to a square a square a square gets cancelled so all we are left with is x square plus y square minus 2 hx minus 2 a y plus h square equal to 0 so this will be the standard equation of a circle when the circle touches the x axis mainly what happens is that k becomes equal to a so wherever you find k in the standard equation replace it by a and you end up with this equation x square plus y square minus 2 hx minus 2 a y plus h square equal to 0. So that ends this video. In the forthcoming video, we will see what happens to the standard equation of the circle when the circle touches the y-axis.